What is considered a health impact that is used to substantiate the violation as the question criteria? And how long um, has the condition been going on? Is it normal to worry about these things living so close to gas and oil? Well, for, for us, for health impact, it would be, um, like I said, either if the investigator goes out and they have a, a health impact, that that escalates a, 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 a violation pretty quickly. Um, typically, if we have a documented health impact, we move immediately to enforcement. We don't even deal with a notice of violation. Um, if and I mentioned it during my portion of, of the slides that if the investigator is able to um, substantiate that the complainant had this effect and, and that they experienced it as well, that's real easy for us to do and we can move forward with that. And we, not for oil and gas, but we do have that with some other um, enforcements that we've, we've moved forward with. Um, if we don't have the investigator experience that same thing, but the complainant can um, provide the medical documentation, which we understand it could be difficult, and a lot of doctors are hesitant to um, make that connection. Um, but if you're a healthcare provider, um, if you go to Care Now or something like that, and, and they're willing to um, provide you that documentation, <laughs> then we can accept that and move forward. And again, it goes to um, us being able to support a violation and having the information to make that that um, that violation stay and move forward. 